the Smire Level Computer Science Project. When you first load up the game, this is the screen you greeted with. Uh, there's different buttons here you can press. So if I press the play button, it prompts you to enter your username. The username has to be three characters to keep it in style for kind of retro arcade game. So if I put in more than three characters and try to enter, it'll come up with an error message. So if I put in three characters here, press enter, it takes me into the game. So as you can see, when I'm moving the cursor around the screen, the gun is rotating to follow it. And there's a little crosshair so you can see where you're aiming. Um, when I press the movement keys on the keyboard, you can see I move left, right, up and down to control the character. At the top left of the screen, I've got a coin score, um, and I've also got a health score at the top right. And then at the bottom left of the screen, I've got an ammo counter. When I left click the mouse, it'll fire a bullet towards where you aimed. And you can see every time I fire a bullet, one subtracted from the actual ammo counter. So, uh, also, if I press the escape button, it comes up with a pause menu which in resume go options so you can exit the game completely so if I resume here and then go through the levels so each level's generated randomly with different rooms and corridors connecting the rooms and in each room there's enemies so here's a spider when you shoot the spider it comes up with the damage uh, indicator so you can see if you've hit it and then every time you kill an enemy uh, it drops a coin which will tell you how much it's worth and then add that score to the top left counter. Here's a chest in the game. These can contain health, uh, ammo or score or extra coins. So if you walk over it, there I got s plus 60 ammo. And that, so now I've refilled my ammo counter down the bottom here. I've also got these two other types of enemies. So I've got this one which shoots fireballs, these track here. Now I've also got this one which fires a spear. So if I die here, I'll show you on the left I've got the positions in the scoreboard. I've got the scores that the players achieved down the middle and then I've got the username of the player who achieved the score. And then I've also got two buttons at the bottom where you can either restart the game or you can quit the application. 